Absolutely. We'll see what Hambone Hammer can do with the bat now as he's got an 0-1 count. The 0-1 from Peters. Bounces, gets away, and this is going to score a run. No problem. Sammy Stevens touches home plate, slides in. Monarchs strike first blood and have a 1-0 lead here from a wild pitch. What do you think of that? Go Trees. Go Trees, I think, is incredibly original, and uh, I know a lot of people wouldn't love it, but I think it's great. Golf-style swing drops in front of the right fielder. Karsten Dembeck brings home one run, and it's an RBI single for C.J. Huntley. 2-0 lead for the Monarchs now here in the bottom of the second yeah, inning. With Maverick Prine having his bat starting to come alive as the 1-0's a shot. This one way back and playing it against the wall at the backstop, or excuse me, on the morning track is Evan Nelson. Looked really good coming off of the bat. Runner does tag up and come home. So it will be a run scored for Maverick Prine, not by the way that he was hoping it would be as that one looked like it had a lot of potential coming off of the bat. No such luck for a grand slam, but it does work out as a sacrifice fly for him. 2-2 two -two count, one out. The 2-2 on the way. Fournier lifts this one up, heading into shallow center field, bouncing right in front of the center fielder, Ty Sunkin, and diving into third base is Sammy Stevens. An RBI single for Ryan Fournier. He's two for two on the day and has himself a run scored now. Last time we played the Leprechauns, and I think that was a bases loaded one out situation where we were not able to bring any runs across. This one's on the ground and getting past the shortstop, Jimmy Scott. One run will come home in Sammy Stevens and deciding too late, or rather late, is Jake Singer, and he will come across the score. Six nothing lead for the Monarchs here in the bottom of the third inning. Two RBIs come across from a Garrett Hammer single. Second base is 0-2 on the way. Swung at Hunley sends this one on a liner into right field. Carson Dembeck chases it down and coming home is Ryan Fournier. He'll get in there safely. Hammer over to third base and another RBI for the Monarchs. Another RBI for C.J. Huntley. 7-0 lead here in the bottom of inning number three. The offense continues red hot. Doesn't even describe it. A stare down from Grant Peters. The 2-2 on the way. Swung at on the ground. This one over to the shortstop, Jimmy Scott. And no throw is made from him. Looks like he wanted to throw it over to the third base side. May, may not have been aware of how many outs there were. Wanted to go back over to the first base side. And a run comes home in Garrett Hammer. 8-0 lead for the Monarchs now. If you can get as much offensive success out of your bottom half of your batting lineup as this one's lined over the head of the third baseman Jack Clark and they're sending the runner home Paul Gomez will touch up safely and they are going to stop Sammy Stevens at third base an RBI double for Ryan Fournier that makes him three for three on the day with two RBIs almost want to put the feet up on the table get an iced tea out here maybe just sit back relax and talk about pinball again but we'll see how the night ends up the 2 on the way to Hammer is on the ground. This one bouncing first baseman. Greg Ludwig picks it up, makes the throw over to Grant Peters covering the bag. And another run comes across as Sammy Stevens score. Now a 10-0 lead for the Monarchs thanks to the ground out from Garrett Hammer. In the dugout as the 2-2's two on the way. Hunley connects on this one, sending a shot to center field. This one hitting against the wall. Hunley getting his fourth hit of the day, heading to second base, getting in there safely. Another RBI for C.J. Hunley. My goodness, that one, his finest hit of the day. A double to left center field. Another RBI for him. Now an 11-0 lead. The 2-1 on the way to Garrett Hammer. Swings and gets a piece of this one. Chasing it down in right field is Karsten Dembeck making a play, not able to come up with it. And coming home to score is Paul Gomez turning on the afterburners and also getting in there safely is Axel Buter. Make it a 13-0 game for the Monarchs here. Well, the 1-1 will be delivered now from Teft as Fournier gets this one on the ground. Diving play by the shortstop. Throw over to second is not made in time. And heading home now is Jimmy Kerr. He will get in there safely. Monarchs get their first run in two innings and take a 14-2 lead here. Honestly, especially after that response that we got from the Leprechauns as the O-1s weekly on the ground, kind of a backspin on that one. Throw over to the second base side is not able to be caught by the shortstop Jimmy Scott and coming in safely is Axel Buter. Run number 15, that one will be an error, believably, against Grant Peters. That one was way low on the ground here in southeastern Michigan. Burn notices have been put all over different cities here in the east and southeast. As Haffey sends a shot into right field, chasing it down and knocking it down is the right fielder, Karsten Dembeck, but not able to come up with it cleanly. Being sent home and being able to walk in there is 
Cooper Marshall as that one's thrown right over to Tony. Watch out, Dembeck must have something against you. Well, that'll uh, bring the 16th run of the game home for the Monarchs. An RBI double for Ross Haffey, his second hit of the day. See what you can do here with the 1-1 pitch on the way. Swings and sends this one on a fly ball to center field, chasing it down and having to go back after it as it drops against the wall. Buters finds himself safe on second base, and it's an RBI double for Axel Buter. His second hit of the day, his first RBI in some time, makes it a 17-2 lead for the Monarchs. Are you joking? 